Analytics dashboards let you interact with your data. When you click an element, the rest of the dashboard changes based on your selections. You can build this interactivity into your dashboard with faceting and binding. Faceting filters a dashboard based on your interactions with widgets. For example, if you need to see new business opportunities, choose New Business from the Opportunity Type List widget. Take a closer look at a leading salesperson's opportunities by clicking Johnny Green in the bar chart. Now, focus in on Johnny's successes by clicking 1 in the toggle widget. Each time we made a selection, other widgets filtered. So now the dashboard shows info only about Johnny Green's new business opportunities that he won. All the widgets filtered because they are faceted together. To undo your selections, click the Return to Initial View button. By default, widgets from the same dataset are faceted together. Faceting is set at the step level and is bidirectional. A selection in one step can filter other steps, and selections in the other steps can filter that step. If you don't want your widget to filter other widgets, deselect the Broadcast Selections as Facets option in the Widgets Step Properties panel. If you don't want other widgets to filter this widget, deselect Apply Filters from Faceting. Because we are looking at the Step panel, you can also deselect the Apply Global Filter option to not apply global filters to this widget. To facet widgets that draw from different datasets, connect the datasets. Edit a dashboard and select More, Connect Data Sources, New Connection. The datasets must share a common field, like Opportunity ID, so that you can link them. Bindings are a versatile way to customize dashboard widgets and steps. To do so, you edit the dashboard's JSON. Unlike faceting, which applies filters to other steps, bindings can dynamically change any part of a query, like measures, groupings, sort order, limits, as well as filters, based on another step. Bindings can also change the appearance of a widget, like the chart type. For example, in this Opportunity Overview dashboard, Bindings between the toggles and chart widgets apply different groupings, measures, and orders to the chart based on what you select in the toggles. Say you want to see the average opportunity amount by industry. Just click Industry, then click Average. Sort the data by clicking Descending. Each time you click a toggle, the binding updates the chart. The chart is now grouped by industry, measuring the average opportunities, and sorted in descending order. Let's look at another example. To see the count of opportunities by country, click Country, and then Count. The binding updates the chart again. Now it's grouped by country and measuring the count. To create and edit bindings, edit your dashboard. Then open the JSON editor by pressing Ctrl-E on Windows or Command-E on Mac OS. Here's the all underscore one step. It returns the data shown in the chart. The step query is bound to five other steps that determine measure, limit, grouping, filter, and sort order. For more information about bindings, including how to configure them, see Bindings and Analytics Dashboards in Salesforce Help. For live, working binding examples, download the Einstein Analytics Learning Adventure app from the Salesforce App Exchange and deploy it to your org. For more information about faceting, including how to facet widgets that draw from different datasets, see Make the Dashboard Widgets Interactive and Configure Cross-Dataset Faceting with Connected Data Sources in the Salesforce Help or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.